Do you want to do seated rows to grow your back without having access to a $2,000 machine? Right now, I'll show you how. If you like doing the seated cable row machine, but you don't have access to one, and you're looking for the best do-it-yourself, the best alternative, this is definitely the video for you. So all you're gonna need is a multitude of different bands from the light, medium, all the way to the heavy. But you could also make do with the light and medium if you double them, or if you just use what you're gonna see in this video. Couple that with some cinder blocks or an aerobic step, or something sturdy where you can put your feet where nothing's gonna move, and now you're flying. Now you're able to do the exercise, except the only difference is that instead of using cable resistance, you'll be using band resistance. So there's a lot of commercial gyms that don't actually have the option of doing alternating cable rows, but because of this creative setup, you're now able to do that. And if you wanna take it one step further, if you wanna pull heavier, if you wanna up the ante a little bit with your bilateral pulls, you could do that as well. You could use the band variation with the V handle. And if you wanna go a lot heavier, you could simply just add another band into the mix. So you could add the red band, or you could even use fat grips to make it more challenging. But if you're really trying to target your back a lot more, Simply add another band over that band like you see in the video right now. And you could even make it more strict by adding pauses at the top. So you can add like a three to five second hold at the top. And because of the band resistance, you're gonna feel it even more. If you want more upper back rear delt focus, you could simply use a straight bar, flare your elbows out to the side a bit more. With the pause, it'll target those areas. And if you want a free and mobile rib cage, you could also experiment with the unilateral variation. Now, if you want to really make this exercise as hard as possible, you could also add five second pauses to it. I really like this option because it helps you get more out of less weight. And this is a great finishing exercise for the back. So normally I'll finish off my back with an inverted row variation as you saw, or this. Seated cable rows are great and if you have access to it, then definitely take advantage. But if you don't, you might want to give this a shot.